Hello dear listeners, my name is Anastasia and in this video I will briefly introduce you to the functionality of Image Media Center software. Geo Informational Software Image Media Center is developed by Russian company Innovative Center. The main advantage of IMC software is that it combines capabilities of geospatial software specialized to work with satellite imagery with fun functionalities of professional raster and vector graphic editors. I will begin with demonstration of user interface. It's versatile, user can easily customize it for the convenience according to their needs. You can see a document opened in a workspace. Vector and raster layers are stored in a single IMF file. To see the content of the document, we open layers panel through window menu. User can arrange panels and menu buttons according to their liking. In the layers panel, all the layers of the document are visualized. Let's take a closer look at the map. You can set the scale manually. For example, I will set it to 1 to 50,000. As you can see, the visualization of vector styles has changed according to the scale factor. Now only the small part of the map is visible within the workspace, and it's easy to lose track of where you zoomed into relative to the whole map. Let's return to the global view of the map. To do this, I need to select Fit into Screen option in the context menu of the required layer. To orientate on the map while zooming in, I will use the Detailed View Window tool, where you can see two windows with the whole map and with the detailed image side by side. To begin the processing of satellite data, you need to open the image. There are several ways of doing it. One of them is open an image with metadata file. I will demonstrate it on the example of Landsat 8 image. Select an option, Open Passport in Image menu. Then select the metadata file in text, XML or other file format. In the window, you can see the information about the image such as satellite type, sensor, date and time, projection, resolution, etc. There is a window where user can look at the preview of the image and the list of spectral bands where it is possible to pick some particular bands according to the needs. After selecting necessary spectral bands, click Load and the satellite composite image will be formed shortly. To see the amount of spectral bands of the opened image, I open the color bands panel through the window menu. Now the whole set of previously selected spectral bands is shown. User can rearrange color components to create false color images for better visibility of some specific landscape features, such as vegetation, water, and so on. To see the information about the scene, I open the image information window in the image menu. There you can see such characteristics of the scene as resolution, pixel type, color model, projection, pixel projection, information from metadata file, and characteristics of spectral bands such as range, weight, gain, offset, which are required to properly perform an atmospheric correction and conversion of digital numbers into readings for further thematic processing. As you can see, the unprocessed image is too dark. There are several tools for improving and adjusting visual characteristics of the image. In menu Image Correction, select Histogram tool. In the window, you can see the graphical representation of pixel brightness distribution. You can adjust the graph by moving cursors for minimum, medium and maximum brightness values. It can be done for all selected color bands, or for each particular band separately. You can also use Curves tool through the same menu. These operations do not affect the actual pixel values, which is important for further thematic processing but create a mask for better visual perception of the image. 
user can remove, save into file, and upload this visual settings through image correction gradient menu. On the screen you can see images obtained by Resource P satellite after the preliminary processing in Image Media Center software. Technology of remote se sensing data preliminary processing implemented within AMC software is fully automated and allows user to perform formation of scenes and contains following steps. Geometric correction of the scene using digital elevation model and RPC coefficients. Radiometric correction. Eliminating offset between spectral bands. Formation of synthesized color image, the formation of fused image in natural colors with resolution of panchromatic image. Let's take a look at the resource piece scene assembly model interface. As an input material, user can take level 0 or 1A resource P data. Then user sets output directory where the results will be saved. It is also required to select the route to the digital elevation model for auto transformation and the type of the sensor. In the radiometric correction tab, user selects some particular color bands to eliminate brightness difference caused by specifics of surveying. In the color synthesis tab, user adjusts the parameters for multispectral image formation. Complexation tab is used to create fused RGB images with the resolution of panchromatic band. You can form is it the whole scene or select the necessary fragment of it. After all the parameters are set, program will start the assembly. IMC provides user a possibility to create mosaic coverage based on imagery obtained from various satellites in an automated mode. Mosaic tool panel can be opened through image menu. You can upload files one by one or select a folder with images. Mosaic tool allows user to perform automated georeferencing, equalize brightness difference between images and create smooth transition on the overlapping areas. On the right you can see original images before they were merged into mosaic. On the left there is the result of the processing. I will use the synchronized view tool to demonstrate the changes. As you can see, original images have a clearly visible displacement and color differences, which were completely eliminated during mosaic creation process in an automated mode. Performing multi-temporal analysis of the territory requires a sequence of two or more images from different dates. There may be an offset between different scenes caused by imprecision of original georeferencing. Our software provides a possibility to precise georeferencing automatically and manually. You can see two images from Russian spacecrafts Canopus V on the right and Resource B on the left. To execute an, an algorithm of automated georeferencing, I will place both images in one document. Let's take a closer look at the image to define the magnitude of the shift. It is convenient to compare two images using blind tool.
After I made sure that there actually is a displacement between images, I open Update Image Georeferencing tool in Geography menu. In the opened window, user can set necessary parameters, such as base layer and the layer that will undergo transformation. Transformation method. Image offset in the units of the original document. Distance between reference points. Pixel projection can be resampled to the projection of the base layer. After all the parameters are adjusted, you can begin the transformation. As you can see, after the transformation is completed, all the land features on the images are matching and the offset is eliminated. For convenient management of big amount of spatial data, we can use the K-Telegization tool. I open K-Telegization panel in Preliminary Processing menu. To form a catalog, I firstly create a new file and save it. Then I select a background layer, which is going to be a vector world map. After that, I set a path to the directory where vector borders along with satellite images are stored. program will automatically pick up the shapefiles with vector borders and place them on the world map. After the shapes with scene locations appeared on the map, you can select the required attributes and save the results of the search. The Catalogization tool is a fast and easy way to visualize the vector borders of the great number of scenes on the world map, which makes it possible to easily find some particular images on required territory, and to access information about them through the vector objects attribute table, such as region, satellite and sensor type, date and time, etc. Now I am going to demonstrate you thematic processing possibilities of Image Media Center software. On the screen you can see the land surface temperature vector map, created with the purpose of wildfire monitoring. Such processing requires imagery that contains thermal infrared spectral bands, for example Landsat TM, ETM+, TIRS or Terra Aqua Modis data. Temperature map is created within degree scale step of 5 degrees Celsius. Information about the temperature is stored in the attributes of the vector objects. Temperature maps allow users to analyze land surface temperature, detect areas of abnormal temperatures, and calculate their extent. Let's take a look at the next example of thematic processing. You can see the ice situation map of the White Sea. To create this map, the index image was calculated based on the meteor M data. The color grid represents ice to water ratio from clear water to full ice coverage. Such maps give a valuable advantage for ice navigation in Arctic seas and can be useful for global environment monitoring. The next example is the agricultural field state monitoring map. Such processing provides a great help to agronomists with such important tasks as crop phenological stage determination, scheduling of harvesting, plant diseases detection, etc. The processing was performed within the vector borders of the agricultural lands. As the result of the processing, statistical report is generated automatically. Reports can contain all types of visual representation of statistical data, such as graphs, diagrams, color grids, legends, information about the scene, etc. As you can see from the report, in the middle of May, around 27% of the lands were idle. 
35% of the crops were in germination phase. Our software allows users to perform flood monitoring and its aftermath assessment. To solve this task, multi-temporal analysis algorithm was used. By performing supervised classification on the images before and after the flood, we managed to detect the flooded areas. With the help of additional data, such as vector layer with buildings, it is possible to calculate the amount of buildings affected by water and make an assessment of the destructive effect of the disaster. It is also possible to make flood simulation and predict water level increase within Image Media Center software. To perform flood simulation algorithm, you need a digital elevation model and vector border of the river. You need to set the anticipated water level increase in meters. After that, program will run a simulation and form vector layers with the result. On the screen you can see the simulation with water level increase up to 11 meters. As you can see, the part of the city appeared to be under the water. This is the simulation of the flood that happened in Russia in spring 2016. Results of the processing correlate with the actual data. You can also use IMC program to analyze landscape transformations that occur over time. Here you can see the result of multi-temporal analysis of forest changes, such as regrowth and deforestation, based on the processing of sequence of satellite images. The vast majority of thematic processing tasks can be solved in an automated mode. For this purpose, automated algorithms, or macros, are used. Macro is the recorded sequence of operations performed during thematic processing. To record the macro, let's open the Operations panel in Window menu. On the top of the panel, you can see tools for algorithm recording. We start by pressing Create Macro button. After that, we need to set work directories. Pass to the folders with input data and the folder where the results will be saved. Now you can see that this action was recorded. We continue by opening Landsat 8 image. Then we slightly enhance visual characteristics of it. Let's calculate normalized difference vegetation index for this scene. We open band calculator through context menu of bands panel. In the opened window, user can fill the index equation, select pixel type of the result and output range. Now we can divide values of formed index into necessary amount of classes using color range tool. Let's close the document with our processing and then start the macro playback. As you can see, program performed the same processing within given seconds. I will show you an example of factual macro developed by our specialists. It serves the purpose of forest felling detection. To perform this processing automatically, all you need to do is to start the macro and set input-output directories. To solve this thematic task, a sequence of two Landsat 8 images with the year difference was used. For both images, a shortwave infrared vegetation index was calculated. This index is sensitive to change in vegetation cover. After performing logical operations upon these two indices, a result with changes is formed and vectorized. 
The final map contains vector layer with the felling that occurred over the term of monitoring, with the information about the area extent in square meters, and two multi-temporal images. Let's open the vector attributes table in vector menu. User can easily find and select any particular vector object and zoom to it by double-clicking on its serial number for detailed analysis of the results. In this video, I briefly reviewed the capabilities of remote sensing data processing in Image Media Center software. The actual potential of the program is extensive, and it definitely requires a deeper insight to appreciate all advantages it can provide. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us by email. Thank you for your attention.